Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is HEYAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our Indian Express uh, series in which uh, we discuss daily uh, editorials of Indian Express uh, that appear in your uh, newspaper. So today is 23rd October. Uh, uh, so let's see what are the important articles in today's Indian Express series. Uh, so friends, uh, the first article that we will be going to discuss is the Narega signal. So this uh, uh, article is about uh, the, uh, the recent reporting of the uh, in this newspaper, in fact, in which it was reported that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 demand for the Narega uh, under the uh, in the age group of eight, in the in the in the workforce in the age group of 18 to 13 uh, 30 years has been growing going up so uh, in this context uh, uh, we will be analyzing this article so basically the thing is that uh, yesterday this newspaper reported that uh, uh, that the young workforce that is between the 18 to 30 years uh, that are engaged in this uh, manrega scheme they have uh, it uh, they, their numbers have gone from 58.69 lakh in financial year 18 to uh, 70.71 lakh in 2018-19 so this is a worrisome signal because uh, friends uh, uh, think is that MG Narega is uh, uh, an act uh, that was enacted in the UPA1 government so this uh, this was enacted uh, to provide minimum 100 uh, 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 minimum 100 day uh, work to each household in a rural area uh, uh, on its uh, on the demand of being made on the demand of uh, work being made so this shows that the youth uh, uh, obviously this MG Narega is a last resort thing so uh, obviously if uh, if uh, the if the uh, the rural youth uh, more and more rural youth are employed in it that shows that uh, uh, the employment opportunities alternative employment opportunities which could be better off and which could uh, ensure better security in terms of salary as well as other facilities is not there so obviously this is a, a worrying signal especially in the light of signals that uh, uh, in the light of statistics in the uh, that have that is released in uh, in a few in 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 few months for example uh, different uh, indicators show that the, the economic slowdown is deepening for example <coughs> Factory output in uh, August 2019 was uh, uh, has contracted by 1.1 percent compared to previous uh, year, and also then other uh, there there is a low uh, low takeoff of commercial credit, and then also other gloomy indicators. So all these figures show that uh, uh, the rural distress is there. In fact, entire economy is distressed because uh, uh, the thing is clear that uh, uh, due to due to this. Uh, uh, the uh, in 2017 basically uh, the uh, uh, this and uh, opportunities uh, started uh, uh, kind of decreasing because first uh, uh, the uh, demonetization happened and then uh, uh, the GST was introduced so due to which uh, the construction sector real estate and all manufacturing as well as informal sector besides services all have been hard hit so warning signs are uh, evident much earlier including in the last fiscal so it it is not that the only this fiscal uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the worrisome signs are there uh, though uh, they have become more uh, apparent but uh, in the last fiscal too uh, the sign uh, uh, the, the signs were not that uh, we can say uh, on the safe side because uh, in uh, in uh, in last year also the uh, the demand for this mg norega had grown up by 10 percent com compared to the previous year so this 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 shows clearly that rural distress is more uh, mounting and also uh, farm prices are low so that's why uh, rural economy is facing a slowdown so the government has uh, uh, the author uh, uh, highlights this particularly in the context context of reduced uh, budgetary allocation to the mg nariga that is rupees 60000 crore so it is a marginal decline compared to the revised estimates and then author says that uh, when 2008 recession came uh, so uh, economists were under fire that why they were not able to predict it uh, but now uh, when author says that when everything is clear when economists are giving clear warnings then uh, obviously it would be a kind of uh, 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 it would be wrong and also it would be uh, 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 
kind of we can say not to go into harsh terms uh, that uh, but then uh, uh, using the terminology of author that it would be f uh, foolish to dismiss uh, all the uh, all the uh, all the economists uh, uh, as uh, as uh, anti government because for example nobel read abhijit banerjee has also said that the consum uh, consumer expenditure has gone down from 1587 uh, rupees 1587 per person each month in 2014 to rupees 15 24 in 2017 in rural areas according to nsso so this shows that clearly uh, the signs are by some so in this context, uh, context author says that it is necessary that government increases uh, 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 mg narega uh, wages uh, as is suggested by the recently uh, 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 recently no uh, uh, economist who won the uh, nobel prize recently that is abhijit banerjee so also then uh, farm sport prices must be increased so that rural distress can be tackled so hopefully government must also take Take other steps among uh, uh, these to uh, to address the entire scenario. So this is was about this article. Next article is about how to make uh, friends. So uh, we will not go into that detail of this article, friends. The simple thing uh, I want to highlight is there uh, the crux of the article is that uh, basically authors suggest that the Indian diplomats what they do they they, they though they do uh, the commendable work uh, in their embassies uh, uh, in foreign embassies where they are based uh, uh, in the host countries, but their engagement uh, at the level of uh, opinion uh, opinion circles in the hosting country is limited. So it is necessary that the Uh, 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 diplomats must engage in uh, uh, must engage with the imp important think tanks or uh, opinion circles in the foreign countries so that uh, uh, the foreign uh, foreign countries uh, the opinion uh, the important opinions that matter in those countries they they can be made aware of the indian concerns so that indian concerns are not uh, rejected outrightly uh, uh, and also indian concerns are uh, paid uh, paid heed so in this context the uh, Uh, example that I can give you is of Kashmir. Uh, al also, author has given this example because uh, uh, Kashmir in re Kashmir uh, recently the government abrogated Article 370. So in this context, obviously different governments reacted differently. And uh, uh, the author says that if uh, if we if we if for example uh, the uh, uh, the Foreign Affairs Minister of India when he went to America recently he found that uh, media's response is still negative towards India. So in this context, author says that if uh, Indian diplomats have uh, uh, have active engagement uh, uh, with the opinion circles or important uh, uh, media houses there. Then uh, certainly the media will 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 be less less harsh. So uh, obviously opinions cannot be uh, changed, but they can be influenced. So in this context, it is important, authors uh, according to author, to uh, to expand the outreach of uh, of the diplomats. So this was about this article, and next article is about keys to the kingdom. So this article is. Basically, about the debate between the right to privacy and uh, 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 right to privacy, uh, as especially in the context of data security, and then um, uh, the national security. So recently, the government uh, governments world over are demanding uh, are say are saying to the these uh, OTT platforms, for example, WhatsApp, Facebook. that uh, they must uh, uh, they must uh, renounce the practices that uh, make uh, interception of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, ch uh, chatting or communication between uh, between persons uh, 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 very 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 difficult or in fact an almost impossible so in this context the contention of the different governments including of indian government is that uh, that uh, they these or these uh, these mediums of communication they are emerging as internet is emerging as a serious threat to democracy Uh, polity and law and order so in this context it is important that government uh, must have access to all these things uh, that is uh Uh, uh, if, if if any potential uh, government must have permission to intercept any potential threat if there is uh, uh, between uh, 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 as a result of communication between different players so obviously uh, in this context uh, the issue is of privacy because uh, uh, say for example uh, two persons they are planning some illegal thing then end to end encryption uh, in their communication is certainly uh, it's certainly not in the context of uh, is not in the interest of national security 
security as well as public security public safety but then in the issue is uh, that how the governments uh, will will uh, will will act uh, with good conscience that is they will only restrict themselves to the uh, to such potential threats what is the guarantee that they will not uh, they will not uh, uh, they will not engage in surveillance of normal citizens also common citizens also um, by by having a, uh, by having access to this data so this is an issue that that remains uh, by that that is of concern so here uh, the author suggests that uh, the two issues can be there and uh, that is technical response or political response so technical response that can be there is uh, of uh, uh, going uh, doing away with the end to end encryption uh, altogether or sidestepping it but then author says that it would be completely uh, uh, would be going against the right to privacy because which which has gained importance particularly uh, after the supreme court judgment last year which recognized right to privacy as a fundamental right um, and an uh, uh, important part of article 20 one of uh, our right to life so this this is an important concern and then uh, other thing is that uh, particularly author highlights that the, then the, the political then comes the political response then political about political response also suggests that the, uh, says that the indian government's record is, has not been that healthy because uh, in the past also uh, but different governments have used sedition uh, uh, sedition laws to to uh, uh, they have in fact uh, used uh, use such uh, sedition laws to target their opponents to who have who have been critical to the uh, critical of the government and also uh, the, uh, the then there is example of uh, section 66 of information technology act which has been uh, misused time and again even after supreme court by its uh, judgment read down uh, this uh, uh, section as unconstitutional so in this context uh, uh, this is the basic issue so you can read uh, uh, you can get more detail by reading this article next article is the legal remedy for patients so this is also very important article so this article has been written in the context of right of patients so friends you might be aware of the fact that uh, in india healthcare is not that uh, that uh, uh, we can say efficient because the public uh, infrastructure in in, uh, in health sector is in sham shambles so there are many loopholes and innumerable uh, loopholes that need to be addressed so in this context author says that there is a power asymmetry between doctors and patients so patients the uh, they they are not much aware be, they be being poor and they they being at the vulnerable position the, in the vulnerable position when the patient is being treated and also they being uh, uh, unaware of the various uh, uh, various provisions they, they there is a power asymmetry between doctors and patients and this uh, power asymmetry has in fact increased after particularly after the uh, uh, the post liberalization phase in which uh, commercial uh, commercialization of indian healthcare has taken place so in this context uh, author talks about uh, that uh, there must be some kind of legal protection or legal rights of the patients also vis-a-vis -vis doctors so that such mal practices for example uh, 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 we can say unwarranted and uh, excessively overcharged uh, medical uh, medical services they must be regulated or uh, other uh, other practices mal practices of healthcare professionals can be tackled so in all, in this uh, context author says that the though the central government has come up with a law to protect the healthcare professionals and healthcare institutions from violence against them by the patients but uh, then also it is commendable but the issue is also author says that it is important that the patients must also have some kind of legal rights vis-a-vis -vis doctors or health professionals so in this context author highlights the uh, the uh, 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 the patient rights charter that was uh, that was prepared by an nhrc last year so it has 17 set of rights which uh, have been uh highlighted by uh, by this uh, by, by national human right commission so which include the right to emergency medical care irrespective of paying capacity right to access records and reports right to know about the illness and treat right to know about treatment and costs and uh, right to transparency in uh, uh, costs that are being charged so all such information uh, required information must be provided so but then also not just rights are recognized but pa patient responsibilities are also recognized so uh, but then author says is that uh, this nhrc uh, charter of patients rights uh, it it was uh, it was uh, it was given to the government uh, that is ministry of health and family welfare but then uh, the secretary of uh, ministry of health and family welfare in june sent a letter to the, uh, to all the states in which uh, uh, in which uh, the in which uh, 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 this uh, this letter basically highlighted uh, a smaller set of rights uh, and some additional responsibilities for the patients that is some key rights uh, were uh, were dropped uh, that were there 
in NHRC charter and some additional responsibilities were provided. So in this context, Rotho says that uh, uh, the first step uh, that uh, that must be taken is that uh, uh, such uh, healthcare institutions, for example, public healthcare institutions, and then pr uh, the uh, the trust uh, 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 trust hospitals, and then uh, 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 private hospitals that involve the health insurance schemes, the, for example, Yushman Bharat. So such type of uh, uh, healthcare institutions must display uh, display clearly the charters in their premises because this is this would be the first step towards the implementation because if these such type of charters are uh, publicly displayed then uh uh, then uh, uh, the patients will be aware of their rights and they will be able to enforce them and other thing is that there is a central clinical establishment act which is uh, uh, which is just uh, which regulates the clinical establishments and it has been just accepted by 11 states so uh, the but then ministry of health and family welfare must uh, uh, persuade all states to 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 uh, implement the, uh, to uh, to adopt this act and implement all these uh, all the uh, all these uh, charter rights that are being highlighted by NHRC. So then also uh, practices uh, that is gross overcharging and then uh, 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 detention of the death bodies uh, of the patients and then uh, they, they uh, such a uh, poor grievance redressal mechanism they must all, all be addressed by different mechanisms for example price regulation in case of overcharging and then uh, uh, there must be also uh, prompt public uh, grievance redressal mechanism in which uh, uh, obviously medical councils different medical councils have failed and there must must be independent uh, uh, independent uh, members that must be associated with such grievance redressal mechanisms for example civil society members health uh, health uh, health rights activists must be involved so that the patient grievances can be listened to so also then all states must adopt this uh, uh, central clinical establishment act so uh, basically, author nine concludes that current space material of power in healthcare sector should be corrected urgently. The, uh, uh, the implementation of NH, uh, NHRC patients' right charter and these cir uh, circular points, uh, uh, circular on uh, mini of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, uh, they will be good starting point points for such a purpose. And uh, this is about your uh, 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 article. And then let's move on to the next article so friends uh, this article uh, is gandhi took on the uh, how when gandhi took on the mob so we will not go into that detail so this article is important though from your exam point of view also because uh, you might be aware of the recent spate of lynchings and vigilantism that is happening in the country so in that context uh, this article is very important that is how mahatma gandhi dealt with the mob uh, that uh, obviously uh, mob is a kind of cry crowd of angry people and how mahatma gandhi uh, uh, con took uh, uh, control the situation uh, from turning violent so you can read this article I will not go into that detail because it is quite controversial also not controversial but you may you uh, you may find it uh, controversial but it is not certainly uh, controversial from my point of view but it is a matter of opinion so I don't want to influence your opinion I leave it on you people to read this article now let's uh, move on to the next article friends this article smooth operators so this is in the context of uh, railway or uh, railway uh, railways uh, undertaking privatization so obviously you might be aware of the fact that uh, the railway has been uh, starting uh, there have been some signs that are that uh, that have been in this direction that is in the privatization of railway sector so uh, 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 what the author says uh, basically author the point of the author is that uh, there's these private train op operators will ensure growth as well as they will ensure competition and professionalism uh, into the railway operations and also infrastructure management uh, and transportation uh, uh, services is not required basically uh, this will induce growth as well as better services also to the uh, users of these services so basically we will not be discussing this article because uh, the author has gone into much detail of uh, this uh, railway sector uh, which is not important from your exam point of view because uh, as a general study a general uh, uh, person is not required to go into that detail so this was basically about today's articles so total 18 to 19 minutes have passed so if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends if you have any doubts queries you can uh, contact us and uh, and the contact details are mentioned in the description box and also friends we have a telegram channel which you people can join and on that telegram channel we have more than 14,000 subscribers and by becoming the member of that telegram channel you can access to, uh, you can get access to our various public resources that have that we have for the purpose of CSC preparation. So this is all about today's video. Thank you. Have a very nice day ahead.